This is part 2, continued from part 1. If you haven't watched part 1, I strongly recommend that you watch it first, so that the messages from this topic can be absorbed perfectly. Thanks. Those who serve the devil by his command and this global satanic system must declare everything they do, but the ones with eyes to see can spot and recognize their manipulation if they know what to look for. In this photo, shows SS Gestapo Chief Heinrich Himmler with the fur. On the arm of Himmler's jacket, you can clearly see the V-sign. Hitler and Himmler caught doing the Freemasonic handshake, called pass grip of a fellow craft. Hitler assured there was no fundamental difference between National Socialism and the Catholic Church. On these Nazi guards' helmets, we can find the SS Sigruns, while on the coat sleeves are the V emblems. The Sigrun, or the Sigrun, symbolized victory. The SS had been organized by Himmler, according to the principles of the Jesuit order. This photo shows another example of Nazi soldiers wearing uniforms with the V emblems. In its original form of the younger Futhark, also called the Scandinavian rune, it represented the sun. However, von List reinterpreted it as a victory sign when he compiled his list of Armin and runes. The Schwerhand is a hand gesture that was used in Germanic Europe and neighboring countries when swearing an oath, very similar to V-Sign. It is also called the Three-Finger Salute which originally expressed the Catholic Holy Trinity, the Beast, the Antichrist and the False Prophet. Neo-Nazi protester in Germany, January 1993. Most of the people who participate in such demonstrations are trained and paid by Illuminati organizations and government intelligence agencies to inspire the public to emotional reaction. For example, the latest George Floyd Operation for Racial Division and George Soros Organization funding Antifa protesters. This, in turn, enables the government to curtail citizen liberties and freedoms under the guise of providing public safety and security. Before I continue the video, please smash that like button for me. Thank you. In her highly regarded encyclopedia of symbols entitled Masonic and Occult Symbols Illustrated, Dr. Kathy Burns explores the meaning of the V-sign. She explains that the two fingers upward relate to the Masonic and Gnostic law of opposites, exactly as the case for the Masonic Lodge's black and white checkerboard floors. This is the doctrine of bringing order out of chaos, of reconciling the two opposites, evil and good. The V-sign is also a sign of the horn god of witchcraft, often called Pan, or Baphomet, the androgynous male and female goat god. Albert Pike, the much-honored homosexual Lucifer worshipper who served after the Civil War as Sovereign Grand Commander of Scottish Rite Masonry, rewrote and introduced a new version of the Order's 33 rituals. Here, Pike wears V-shaped sash of the Sovereign Grand Commander. Hanging around his neck is a jewel of the double-headed eagle. When General George Washington visited Boston in 1789, this banner was carried by a group during a procession in honor of his visit. The V is the focal point of the emblem, but the three goat heads shown on the shield and the bearded goat head atop it are also significant in occult teaching, similar to Baphomet figure. The universal sign of the Masonic Lodge, which is the square and compass. Within the combined symbol of square and compass is the G, representing God, which is, in masonry, also the generative process, or sexual. In this advanced Masonic view, we have a man on top of a woman in the act of coitus, or sexual relations. Both the compass and the square are V in configuration, and when is turned upside down, we find the same, that one symbol, V-shaped, still surmounts the other V symbol. This ancient black and white drawing depicts an initiate undergoing trials in order to advance in the order. Pointing to his head, on the floor, is the square, shaped as a 90-degree V. Detail of an anonymous oil painting depicting the famous Viennese composer, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, at a meeting of his Vienna Masonic Lodge. Mozart is at right, but notice V device worn around the men's necks, symbolic of the square of the Masonic Order. Witchcraft, traditionally, the exercise or invocation of supernatural powers to control people or events, and practices typically involving sorcery or magic. Many occultists, Freemasons and news anchors are highly trained witches, casting subconscious spells, symbols, and putting the general television viewer and listener under the hypnotic state. The witchcraft goddess wearing horns on her head, a five-pointed star on her breast, and is giving the witchcraft V downward sigil in her right hand, clutching the crescent moon. Diana, the witchcraft goddess of the moon. In this ancient engraving, Dionysius the Areopagite, an Athenian convert to Christianity, gives the double V sign, as above so below, with left hand towards hell. 
Dionysius was a mystical Christian, a Gnostic heretic who is thought to have been the author of an occultic treatise entitled, The Mystical Divinity. The centuries-old illustration from Maurice Bessie's pictorial history of magic and the supernatural depicts the ancient gesture of benediction, the shadow of which represents Satan. That shadow, according to Satanists, is the symbol of malediction, a magical word or phrase, uttered with the intention of bringing about evil, a curse. The diamond and circle at top indicate the same principle, that black equals, her shadows, white, and white mirrors black. This gesture of benediction is changed into malediction when one looks at the double shadow. The artist responsible for this drawing also reveals the esoteric connection of so-called V, or victory sign with the yin-yang. This is the Hegelian principle of the synthesis of opposites. This mural on a wall in Havana reads, For Life with Fidel. Bill Clinton flashes a mysterious hand sign to former California Governor Jerry Brown. Both Clinton and Brown were trained by the Jesuit order. Stuart Meacham, head of a pro-communist group called the New Mobilization Committee, is pictured in the Guardian newspaper with this V sign on a poster behind him. Michael Jackson, accused of child molestation, presents the V to the crowd as he arrives at Heathrow Airport for a concert tour, 11 July, 1988. Former President George Herbert Walker Bush lets insiders know of the goal and eventual total victory of the Illuminati by blatantly displaying the Kabbalistic V sign. The position of Bush's left arm is a further indication of the Kabbalistic nature of the sign. Inside the pages of the magazine, there was not one shred of explanation as to why the senior Bush was pictured on the cover giving the sign, nor was it an election year. Moreover, the former president was in retirement, proving the elite adage, once a servant of the Illuminati, always a servant. U.S. President Richard Nixon, using the same gesture as a victory sign, 1968, Nixon campaign. Peace Priest in the Principia Discordia. The text on the side reads. The numeral V sign used by old Roman Discordians, Illuminatus Churchill, and innocent hippies everywhere. A Soviet propaganda poster featuring Vladimir Lenin, 1870-1924, published on the fifth anniversary of his death in 1929. The V is clearly seen as the main symbol. Let us get into your head, says this ad for an ABC TV series called Wonderland. Interestingly, the show's producers chose the V sign to make their point. In this instance, the man is giving the Dugard sign relating to the penalties of divulging the secrets of the Mark Master degree of Freemasonry. George Orwell's 1984 alternative movie cover, depicting the Big Brother logo as V. Highly acclaimed motion picture, V for Vendetta, another New World Order propaganda movie, praising rebellious freedom fighters, who widely used Guy Fawkes' mask as their symbol against government tyranny, this of course resembles with George Soros funded Antifa soldiers. Interestingly enough, Guy Fawkes was a highly trained Jesuit fighter, whom was given an order from the Catholics to conspire against King James, but he failed in a gunpowder plot in 1605. They do not teach this in history classes. Playboy Magazine Archive, September, 1970. The Hippie Movement Cover. Irish singer Bono and former president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, both giving the peace sign. Worth mentioning that Mandela Effect is another CIA operation to divide people in groups and make them chase their own tail with conspiracies that never fully led one to truth. Nelson Mandela was a member of Jesuit Order of the Knights of Malta. It just goes to show that most influential figures if not all are puppets of the satanic system. Another brother of the Knights is Sammy Davis Jr., an open Satan worshipper and a Hollywood sellout, showing the same V gesture to his noble fellow servants. Sammy Davis was often meeting the Church of Satan founder, Anton Levy. What were they discussing? Certainly not politics. Ronald Reagan in Presidential Debate, 1984. Another pawn in the political game. One of the most recognizable peace personas at the time, John Lennon. His song Imagine was released in 1971. It called for peace during the Vietnam War and urged people around the world to live in unity. However, those with eyes to see know it was basically a call for a new world order system. It could very well be the official hymn for Agenda 21. Every single famous person like John Lennon was and is a system slave and a tool to push certain agendas. Looking through deeper lenses, the peace symbol is not so peaceful after all. The general public perceives it the way the ruling elite designed it to be seen, as a sign against war and oppression, a sign of not only peace, but also justice and equality, though for them controlling tyrants, it is an ancient sign of communication, recognizing its cabalistic fellow servants, proudly flashing their dystopian future, bringing the new age, the fifth age, the age of slavery. 
Over the years, they managed to successfully program the masses to such extent that basic truths do not exist anymore, they misrepresented our reality so much that average folk have difficult time accepting a lending hand. But every cloud has a silver lining. If you realize how bad the situation is, if you recognize the wickedness in this place we call home, if you see through all the manipulation, lies and pure evil reigning over, then you clearly hope for something better, for something good, for something pure, just, loving and caring. And that opposite of evil, which drives us to push through and to strive for a brighter future, is God himself. God bless you. I'm sorry that the video illustration is far from good, but I'm trying my best to make this video useful for everyone. I've put up all of my time and energy for this channel every day. I hope you enjoy it. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.